Hello guys, welcome to our new YouTube channel Sports Cybox. So well, this is a fairly a new channel that has been started a month ago. Uh, this channel has been mainly started in a motive uh, to share our experience in both the sport and technology. So that said, every week I will be sharing my experience in uh, any new tool that comes in the market. Either it could be a programming language or a new database or any external tool or any updated version of a programming language. So this uh, will give you a fair idea or some insights before getting uh, started with that technology. So come, let's go to the video. So in today's video, we're going to see about uh, what is graph database and its types and the installation and how it's different from the relational database. And we are going to talk more about the genus graph, like one of its type. So what is graph database? Graph database is basically a NoSQL database. It is being uh, like developed in order to address the limitations of the relational database. There are many other NoSQL databases such as a column based database, file based NoSQL database. But how is it being different from those databases? Basically it is a semantic database which is to store, query and modify the network graphs. So graph database is basically of two types, one is a property graph and another one is a knowledge graph. So property graph, uh, the structure is of uh, constructed based on two attributes, one is a vertices or it is otherwise called as a nodes, another is called as an edges. So you can visually think of this nodes and edges uh, uh, in form of x axis and y axis. Suppose I have a two coordinates x and y and I need to plot it in the graph. So what we usually do, we will draw two lines called x axis and y axis and we will be uh, plotting those coordinates and we will be joining those coordinates with a single line. So those coordinates is called as the nodes and the connecting lines or uh, coordinates that has been uh, relation, the relation between two coordinates is called as an edges. So what is like a nodes or vertices in a graph database mean to be? So it is nothing but an entity such as a person, place or an event and edges are nothing but a relation between a two vertices. So both the vertices and edges can have n number of key value paths called as a property. So that is called as a property graph. So uh, let me show you some uh, a pictorial representation of a property graph. So in this picture, if you see there are like a three circles, like one is a name Peter and another is a name John, another is a uh, name Emai. So all these three dots are called as a nodes or vertices. And uh, the lines that is being connected between three dots is called as an edges. So uh, the uh, email, uh, the Peter, John and email are uh, called as an users. So they are an entity or they are a person. So they are a, uh, a vertices. So if you see the relation between the John and the Peter, John follows Peter or and John follows email. If you see Peter, Peter follows email and email follows John. Similarly, uh, uh, email follows Peter and email follows John. So these are like a circular uh, connectivity between these three users using uh, um, uh, edges. So this is a simple representation of a property graph. And why we need a property graph? Say for example, I have a use case and I need to capture the interest of a, a person um, who resides uh, in a New York or in a specific uh, town. Uh, so I need to capture uh, the interest of that particular person uh, in terms of movies. So what kind of movies he watch or uh, like what genre of movies he watch. Say for example, I have uh, like uh, three options, an action movie or a comedy movie or a romantic movie uh, or like a superhero kind of a movie. So uh, to capture the interest of the person, the only uh, suitable database is a graph database because that will be linkage uh, for uh, uh, person uh, in all these interests. So to capture the interest, uh, the I think the graph database is the best suitable database. The next database, uh, the next type of a graph database is like a knowledge graph. So knowledge graph, uh, since property graph like is constructed based on uh, two attributes, knowledge graph is constructed uh, with the three attributes. One is like a subject, another is called the predicate and another is an object. These three is called as a triplets. 
so the unique identifier of these three attributes is called as a uri like unique resource identifier so uh, this is the basic or introduction of a graph database so uh, let's see what is uh, genus graph and uh, how the installation works and uh, what is the cap theorem like it is being followed and what is the internal architecture all these will be uh, uh, covering so what is genus graph so as i said genus graph is one of the property uh, uh, based type of graph database and it has been constructed um, using two attributes uh, like vertices and edges so what is special in the graph database when compared to uh, 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 genus graph uh, uh, what is special in the genus graph and compared to other graph database so it is highly scalable so the data distribution and the replication for performance and uh, fault tolerance and uh, it has hot backups you can uh, take uh, a number of backups you need and uh, uh, multi data center uh, is highly available uh, in um, genus graph so it is highly scalable and another important thing is uh, it is an open source so you don't need to buy a commercial license for this and it is being supported by an apache 2 the next beautiful thing is like uh, its internal architecture is been uh, genus graph is using a tinker pop uh, native integration engine so this is something similar to how the java and python is using the uh, oops concept so similarly um, genus graph is using a tinker pop so tinker pop is a native integration uh, engine um, which is been also developed by apache and is also used by uh, some other uh, like a graph database like neo 4g etc so the same thing is been used by genus graph so all the uh, features characters or the properties of uh, tinker pop uh, you can see in the genus graph also and uh, the visualization so for any uh, like uh, uh, graph you need a uh, like uh, a perfect visualization to see how many nodes are up and how many nodes are uh, gone down and uh, how many are in available uh, so uh, the read performance write performance all these metrics can be calculated visually uh, in the genus graph so uh, there are tools like uh, uh, arcade analytics uh, crypto space and uh, gephi plugin so etc so these are some visualization tool that is been available for the um, uh, genus graph so uh, as i said uh, genus graph is been uh, highly supported or uh, the native integration engine is uh, tinker top so you could learn more about tinker top uh, i can give uh, i have provided the link um, in the description you can check that out and for any um, uh, database you need a, uh, a querying language to query the records right uh, say for example in sql you will be using structured query language similarly in cassandra you will be using uh, sql which is cassandra query language so similarly in the graph database the query language is being supported by uh, uh, lang uh, graph traversal language called gremlin so uh, uh, we will be talking more about gremlin in the next video Uh, so uh, gremlin is more a uh, powerful querying language where uh, uh, it helps to uh, search the particular record by traversing through the entire uh, nodes and edges that is that been created by the user so uh, ne the next one is like um, uh, there will be no bottlenecks for the read and write uh, because Uh, it supports cap theorem so you know that like a cap theorem uh, is nothing but a consistency availability and partitionability so all the read performance will be taken care by this cap theorem why i saying like that is genus graph is basically supported by three distributed databases one is cassandra and another one is hbase and another is an oracle so hbase will take care of consistency and cassandra will take care of an availability and oracle will take care of a partitionability similarly for the uh, read data uh, like read performance it is being uh, supported by apache lucene so uh, lucene is also an integration uh, engine uh, that is be, that is resides or used by apache solar and elasticsearch so you will have uh, connectivity uh, to uh, elastic search and solar as well as like in the lucene for uh, read so both the read and write performance can be easily achieved in a genus graph because it is been supported by all these uh, and databases 
So similarly, you will have an option to connect the third party data storage also via Genesis Graphonus like Arrow, like Arrow Spike, DynamoDB, FoundationDB, etc. So, uh, so these are the main uh, features of the Genesis Graph and the Genesis Graph is like as I said it is a distributed architecture uh, so it, is, uh, it does not follow a master slave architecture so there will be no uh, uh, like uh, bottlenecks for your uh, read and write sir. so this is like a basic um, idea about the Genesis Graph so uh, let's see about the how to install uh, and how to get started with the uh, Genesis Graph in your local let's see the installation uh, open the browser and just type uh, genus craft so dot org and you could see the like uh, websites of uh, website of the genus graph so here uh, since it has been uh, like uh, contributed by apache you could uh, still see the development uh, the code as uh, code uh, by the apache developers in, in this Git, uh, github link so they have provided the github so if you see here there will be a number of comments so uh, still the development is going on for the genus graph so you could download the stable version from by clicking this download option so it will re redirect to uh, to github uh, link so here you could see the stable version which is being released on may 3 2020 which is uh, 0.5.2 so here you could download genus graph uh, full dot uh, zip if you click that so uh, it will take a few seconds to download just save it uh, it will come around uh, 542 MB so uh, uh, I have already been downloaded so let me just uh, cancel this download just for your sake I have shown you that so uh, let me go to the uh, download path here where I have downloaded my uh, genus graph so let me just unzip it zip genus graph so it started unzipping it so let's wait for a few seconds to get it uh, un uh, uh, unzip so meanwhile um, you can just check out the documentation here like uh, click the getting started so here they have shown the installation step so uh, they have given you a uh, different uh, ways to install the uh, genus graph uh, like either uh, you could install via the um, in your local machine directly by downloading the software or if you want to uh, install in a docker version of it you can uh, fire this command and just you can try it out so what this will help you is like it will make uh, both the client and server up and running in a docker image uh, for the genus graph in your local so that is this all first uh, step is about the next is about the local installation so that is what i am going to uh, show you now let's see whether it's been, yeah if you see here uh, it's been uh, like unzipped just to go inside the genus graph just fire this command bin gram so it's been starting so um, to uh, uh, query as I said the query language is being supported by uh, gremlin so we need to uh, create a tables everything right so first we need to log in into the uh, gremlin gremlin is also a server uh, that has been packaged with the genus graph uh, zip so you need to uh, log in into the gremlin so if you see here the uh, gremlin uh, plugin has been started so this is one way of starting the gremlin or uh, the another way is so uh, one more thing I like to say is like Gremlin has been developed using Apache Groovy language. So uh, uh, it's like an advanced version of a Java we can say. Uh, so uh, uh, while uh, like coding in a Gremlin like uh, you will be learning about Apache Groovy also. So this is one form of starting the Gremlin uh, shell. 
or the another thing is uh, if you want to run a server just um, fire this command so the server has been started so the gremlin server has been started and you can log in into the gremlin shin and you can query it so uh, in today's video like uh, we have learned what is a graph database and uh, what is a genus graph until the installation so in the next video i will be covering um, uh, what is gremlin and how to start uh, creating a tables uh, everything using a, a gremlin server so uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep support us please subscribe to our channel thank you we'll meet soon in the next video